Hey there, welcome back. It's Shireen. Um, I'm starting a new series today uh, called Shireen's Quick Tips. So these are going to be videos. I'm going to try to keep them to about five minutes or less. Just give me five minutes of your time and I'm going to try to help you with some quick and easy hacks to improve your workflow, sort of make things a bit easier. We're going to be doing these. I'm going to do this series um, sort of looking at little tips and tricks uh, over the years as an educator and as a designer um, that I found that sort of make things a lot easier for me across all the Adobe programs. So today we're starting with um, uh, Adobe Acrobat. So as you see here, we have a um, we have a PDF open here in Acrobat, and um, one of the things that I face daily, my students face, is sort of having these ginormous um, PDFs. Uh, we're going to go over here into Organize Pages function, and we're going to take a look at this um, design manifesto submitted by um, the amazing Mehui Chan, a former student of mine. So we're going to take a look and see. You can see that as the pages load in, you can see that it takes a little bit of a type for that little bit of time for that type to render, for those images to come in. So that does definitely indicate that that's sort of a bit of a big file. So if we come back up here to File Properties, let's take a look at the size. Yeah, so we're looking at over 100 megs, 109.34. Um, so we're really going to want to just see if maybe File Optimize can help get that size down. So we're going to go under here to File, Save as Other, and that's where we're going to get the Optimize PDF function. So um, I just want to just review some of the settings. A lot of them, to be honest, are really the default under um, image. It kind of goes through and um, asks you if you want to compress down the images. So you can see here, I've actually checked already um, to downsample color images, grayscale, and monochrome about 100 PPI, 100 DPI. For screen resolution, that's more than enough. So um, I'm going to go ahead with that. 100 is more than enough. But the most important thing here is I'm going to choose Acrobat 10 or higher for compatibility. Um, that's already is going to really reduce this file size significantly, you'll see. So if you're pretty fairly certain that folks are kind of updating their um, Adobe Cloud apps um, regularly, uh, and you're not necessarily sending it to someone who has a very, very old version of Acrobat, you're really safe to go with Acrobat 10 or higher. Um, and the rest of the settings for images, fonts, um, objects, user data, and cleanup, I usually just use pretty much the standard settings. Maybe under cleanup, just to double check, you're compressing the entire file. The only thing I would just say is be wary of transparency because sometimes I've seen when we try to do the um, compressed transparency, it compresses it down to like white. So if there's that transparency, you get that white box. So that's why I've left that one out. But my main work really is just deal with my settings, get the um, down sampling so that the image quality will be less, um, but it'll still be good enough for screen. So as long as you're sure that the output is going to be digital, this is great. If you're thinking about output to print, then I would say try 150. You'll be surprised. I think it's pretty, it's going to be really respectable, especially if the option the um, the goal is to uh, get that file size down. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to set this one as optimized. Okay, so I'll save it as opt, and then we wait. It's going to go ahead and get started here, processing the images downsampling the images. So let's give that a couple more seconds. Okay, so um, the optimization is complete. Uh, I went ahead and paused it so that we wouldn't wait for that whole process to take place, but really it doesn't take more than sort of a minute or so, and it really kind of obviously it depends on case by case what you've got um, to be compressed. So let's double check now and just uh, see what the size is. It was at 109, and now it's at 2.72. That is pretty awesome. That is crazy. So you can see what a difference it can make. So before I wrap this up, I just want to say disclaimer, I can't guarantee and promise these results because it really just depends on the configuration, the combination of like how many images do you have versus what's going on with your layers versus what's going on with um, the type, etc. So in this case, it just happened to be a really ideal case where we got something that was 109 megs down to two. 0.75 I think and that's just phenomenal so definitely a great quick tip um, for you to try to use um, if you have any questions please uh, share them in the comments below be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you for the next video quick tip we'll see what it's gonna be oh also you can um, recommend what quick tip you'd like to see next okay see you in the next video uh, thanks for watching